Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bradley 658-30 powdered soap dispenser. This model is both surface mounted and a powdered soap dispenser, not liquid. Um, first impressions is I like it. It's, it's substantial. It, it's got some weight to it. Solids, it, so it's a stainless steel uh, tub with a brushed finish, a stainless steel lid with a polished finish, wall bracket. Okay, there's a link to a technical data sheet above this video. Um, so I won't bother to tell you all of the uh, details in terms of its dimensions because they're all there and they appear to be accurate. But what I will, uh, what I'd like to show you is its installation and its use. Um, so the installation aspect of this is. Uh, is as follows. With this soap dispenser, you're going to get an Allen wrench and a bag of screws. The Allen wrench is important. You can't do anything without it. You can't reload the soap dispenser and you can't install it without the, without the Allen wrench. Keep it secret and keep it safe is, is a line from one of my favorite movies. Um, Allen wrench. Basically, to get this installed, is you insert the Allen wrench in the lid, and you turn it counterclockwise a few degrees. The lid opens and has a spring-loaded mechanism on the inside with that keeper and a dimple on the inside of the container itself where that little retracted L-angle latch connects to. The installation of this soap dis of this soap dispenser is 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 as follows. This pin seen here and all the way through needs to come out. It's very simple, not not difficult. There's a piece of flat spring here. You have to pull the fat flat spring back and then push the pin out and through. There's a groove in that pin and I'll show that to you which is where that flat spring sits. You push that pin all the way out. And once that comes out, the entire wall bracket comes off. It just joins together at the bottom here. So you take your wall bracket and you get it installed onto the wall where you like it. There's no guideline in terms of off the finished floor that Bradley has on their technical data sheet, although that is governed typically by federal ADA compliance code, so you'll want to consult that. Three screws. Uh, no additional anchors or fasteners are included if you want wall anchors or concrete anchors or some other anchoring method, depending on your wall, you'll have to accommodate. Attach that to the wall. Once this is secured to the wall, the rest is really easy. So this is secured to the wall. You join the bottom lip back to the slot that's cut in, in the bottom. Then you basically mate this back together and there's a heavy flat spring on the back of this and I'll show you what that's for in a moment. Join the top back, hold it, it'll be difficult for me to do it because I'm doing it with my hands and it's not on the wall. Open your lid, then you need to drive the pin back through and you can see the groove that's there. You'll drive the pin back through the hole. Okay, it's almost all the way in. Sorry you're not seeing a lot of this. That's where it is when it's almost all the way in. If I push it just a little bit more, that flat spring there is going to fit into the groove and you heard it snap. Now, at this point, the pin can't be driven out, meaning when the dispenser is closed and locked, you can't pop the pin out to vandalize this. Okay. A push back down will relock it, and then you're good to go. That flat spring in the back is because of the operation of this. The bracket is attached to the wall, and when you depress it, and it says push on the bottom here, you probably can't see that. When you push it, the entire soap vessel moves back, and because of the way that the mechanism is in the bottom, the machining of that, uh, a certain a pre, you know a, a certain amount will fall out into the it's the receptacle that sits on top of this every time, and when you push that through. The powdered soap is ejected. 
powdered soap is still very much in use. Um, I've been in a lot of shop settings. I see powdered soap there. It's economical. I think that it's a very good product uh, because the cost of the soap dispensers and the soap, of course, um, is, I think, in my opinion, more manageable in a shop setting. Uh, powdered soap seems to cut through the grease a little bit better because it's granularity and its ability to start cutting because it's still in a powdered, you know, uh, sand-like form, at least a lot of it that I've been familiar Not sand, but it's, it's, a little, it's coarse because it's not liquid. If you have any questions about this uh, Bradley 658-30 soap dispenser or any other Bradley product, please feel free to reach out to us.